Amanda, a registered dietitian with Henry Ford Macomb Hospital. The vegetable of the week this week are greens. Greens are an excellent source of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K. Greens like bok choy and collards are a good source of calcium. Calcium works with vitamin D and phosphorus to build strong bones and teeth. Greens grow well in colder weather and can survive the occasional frost. Kale actually tastes a little bit sweeter after a frost. Today we're going to make a kale snack called Easy Kale Chips. To make Easy Kale Chips, you will need one head or one bunch of kale, some salt to taste, and some olive oil, about a tablespoon will work. So you wanna start off by rinsing the kale, which I've already done for us today. And then you wanna remove and discard the ribs and stems. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take your kale and you're gonna pull it off. And then this stem part you can discard. And then the leaf part, we're actually gonna break into smaller pieces and we're gonna put into a bowl. So you're gonna do that for all the kale until you have what looks like this. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to dump a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon or even a little bit less into my bowl onto my kale leaves. I'm gonna use my hands and I'm gonna mix the kale up, making sure I'm rubbing the olive oil in until each leaf um, has some on it and it looks a little bit shiny like this. So after that step, now you can add a little bit of salt um, to it. I'm just gonna add a little pinch of salt. If you don't wanna use salt, you can also use a salt-free seasoning blend. You can use a lemon pepper, um, plain pepper, maybe some dried onions, even a steak seasoning is really good on these. So now that they're seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and take my pan and dump them onto my pan. So they're all overlapping each other a little bit and so I wanna spread them out so they're not overlapping, just like this. Okay. So once that step is done, you're gonna place them in a preheated oven at 250 degrees and you're gonna bake them for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're gonna flip the leaves over and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes or until the kale is crisp, but not browned or burnt. So let me show you the finished product. So here we have our easy crispy kale chips. Enjoy. Thank you so much for listening to the Vegetable of the Week, all for you from Henry Ford Macomb Hospital.